I was very fortunate to, after graduating from Monterey High School in 96, to be offered a scholarship to Tech. One year of running for the high school track team landed Lee Daniel a college scholarship. Let's go. Oh. Three years of running for the Red Raider track team landed Daniel on the podium as Texas Tech's first national champion. I'd never made the national meet before and then ended up winning the first time I went. That was probably my most fond memory because I didn't expect to win. Everything went right, my legs felt good, my breathing was good and ended up just winning. I think she's still learning and, and doesn't have a real good grasp of how talented she is. A few months later at the outdoor national championships, Daniel would find out just how good she was at keeping her cool in the 10,000 meter final. Early on in the race is when a girl stepped on the back of my shoe. I was very frustrated. Can't run 25 laps around the track without a shoe on. So I stopped and at that moment I really didn't think I knew I wasn't going to quit the race, but at the same time, I thought, I mean, I might get, I'll probably get last. People were like, all right, this is throwing a little curveball into things, and so they're cheering for me, and come on, Texas Tech. So that really got me pumped up and motivated, and slowly just kind of made my way around and ended up being able to win the race. So the girl from Monterey who made tying her shoe exciting on the way to a second national title would naturally do the same when she tied the knot. Daniel and Nick Hordes won a free wedding and honeymoon from the Today Show in 2009. After coaching at Ashland University in Ohio until 2010, Daniel Kordz is back in Lubbock where she's gone from ruling the track to keeping others on track as a personal trainer at Cardinals. You're going to sit up and pull down and back quick, alternating each knee up. Use the momentum with your core as you come towards the wall. Ten more. I was trying to think of things to make y'all look really athletic. <laughs> so much fun to be able to train people and I have a running group that I coach, a bunch of runners and uh, yeah, I can't imagine. I definitely am not a sit in an office, not if I like that would never be my thing. I like to be, you know, active. And Lee continues to be active, as active as she can be anyway at 35 weeks pregnant. Of course, she's expecting her second child anytime now. And the stage of our lives, becoming parents and just having kids, and it's way more tiring than running a 10,000 meter, that's for sure. <laughs>